Close your eyes and take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body and focus your attention there. Know the breath all the way in, all the way out. Make it your intention to stay here as long as you can, not get distracted. If you do get distracted, then just come right back. The breath will always be here, coming in, going out. It's just a matter of your sticking with it, maintaining that intention. As the Buddha said, our lives are shaped by our intentions. But if your intentions are scattershot, the shape they give to your life is not especially very, especially good. If you want a well-shaped life, okay, make your intentions well-shaped, make them consistent. Make up your mind to do something good and you stick with it. And this way you're showing a lot of goodwill for yourself. Because where else are you going to find happiness? Happiness has to come from your actions. Your actions come from your mind, the intentions in the mind. So focus on the causes, the intentions, and everything else will follow from that. We greet one another every morning, saying, good morning, tell people have a good day. And from the Buddhist point of view, a good morning or a good day or a good afternoon or a good evening has nothing to do with nice things happening to you. All he does show how to create a life where things are more likely to happen, nice things are not more likely to happen. But more importantly is what you do. As he says, an auspicious day is when, when you focus on the present moment and what needs to be done right now, particularly in cleaning up your mind. He says that those are our duties. And it's not like he's imposing them on us. But he does say that if you want to find true happiness, this is what you have to do. You have to focus on your mind, make sure your mind is in good shape. And when you do good things, that's how you have a good day. In that sense, no matter what the news is outside, you can still have a good day. Good things happen, bad things happen. This is the human realm. It's normal. And if our happiness depends on things outside being good all the time, there's no way we can have a good day every day. But if you make up your mind, you're going to act on good intentions, say things that are skillful, in other words, that lead to genuine well-being, cause no harm, do things that are skillful, think things that are skillful, then you can have a good day every day. So whether you have a good day or not doesn't depend on the clerks in the store saying that they want you to have a good day. It depends on your actions. But it also doesn't depend on things outside being just the way you want them to be. This way you, you can liberate the mind from its slavery to things outside. Because your goodness can become independent. And that's when you can really trust it. So if the Buddha ever told you to have a good day, you know what he means now. Do good things. That's what makes the day good. Think good things, say good things. Have a sense that it is precious that we have this day. We don't know how many more days we're going to have. But we do have this opportunity right now, so make the most of this opportunity to do good. If you don't see anything particular outside to do, well, focus your mind, train your mind. So when greed, aversion, and delusion do come up, you're not going to fall for them. You'll be prepared. That way we've got a good day covered both today and into the future.